Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the fourth module of IoT and uh, what are the important questions, let's have a look at that. So these are the topics which you need to cover for the maximum marks in this module. Uh, I'll be discussing and, uh, and few more topics are there which I'll be discussing in between this video. Make sure you watch this video till the end, this will be sufficient for you and uh, before starting uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more like this. And the first topic which is challenges in IoT security. Before that, uh, the data analysis is the first topic in the order so let's have a look at that. Okay. So we'll be discussing some things about data analytics then we'll be discussing about the OT security practices which are important and the last one um, which is edge analytics also which uh, will also be discussed in between that network analysis also there and a few more topics in there so make sure you watch this video till the end okay so the first is what is structured versus unstructured data in structured data will be having rows and columns and in unstructured data will be having all types of data okay and um, what is the uh, types of data analysis see this is the question they have asked right what are the different types of analysis data analysis so these are the different types of data analysis descriptive which means what is happening diagnostic means why it happened predictive means what what is likely to happen prescriptive means uh, what should i do about it so this kind of different types of analysis which you do on data that uh, classify the different types of analysis okay and here are the data uh, big data technologies and here is the data okay different data types and what is scaling problems volatility of data as you scale you will be having more data you have to handle that volatility of data means uh, the different types of data as it is changing about that you have to write here what is machine learning it is the concern with any process where the computer needs to receive a set of data that is processed to help perform a task with more efficiency based on previous data it performs some tasks and gives the output that is called as machine learning in that we have two types supervised and unsupervised supervised means the outputs will be uh, specified before only like in the form of classes unsupervised means it will be having some patterns which will be detected and uh, it uh, iot and ml that two combine and form in the four major domains monitoring behavior control operations kind of optimization and self-healing of self-optimizing okay these four are the maze major domains in which the ML is used in IoT and what is predictive analysis you'll be doing the analysis based on some uh, previous data and based on that you are predicting what is what will be the likely most likely outcome okay like that we'll be using the IoTs also for the sensors in order to predict the outcome okay and uh, coming to the big data analytics tools and technologies the three V's we already know what is volume means how much data is there velocity means how fastly the data is uh, coming in and variety means the different kinds of data okay and few of the important concepts they can ask you like one one mark question what is MPPP um, massively parallel processing platforms and those are the platforms will be having different kinds of data and their different processing systems at a very large scale no SQL not only SQL it supports the following types Hadoop is the most um, recent thing in which we'll be uh, using it to the uh, storing the data and processing the data okay two things are there it is used as data repository and processing engine and it has two components name nodes and data nodes in which the name will be stored and the data nodes will be having, having the content which is to be stored yarn is for the scheduling and the management purpose apache kafka is a distributed publisher manager subscriber messaging system apache spark is a memory distributed data analytics platform apache storm and flink are the other uh, hadoop ecosystem tools lambda architecture is the architecture which is used for two things batch and stream okay so for the batch and stream these two things will be happening here we'll be having the streaming things and for the batching things you'll be uh, making it into different batches and then you'll be using it okay those are the two things here stream layer means it is responsible for near uh, real-time processing of events Batch layer consists of uh, batch processing engine and serving layer is a uh, data store and a mediator that decides which of the following data should be processed at what time. Okay. And another important question which was edge analytics. Okay. What is edge analytics? It is the analytics at real time. Okay. It is not like our data will be stored before and that data will be using. We will be uh, having the data in the real time. Okay. Real time data will be coming and you have to give the response. Reducing data at the edge, time sensitivity analysis and response at the edge and all the core functions of it raw input data and data anal analytics processing unit at the same time the processing will happen and after the processing happens you'll be getting the output so it will be in the form of output streams okay and another important question which could be asked is distributed analytics system here we'll be having all the analytics which, but it is distributed in different parts okay so the three concepts in the distributed analytics is edge location processing means somewhere if you have a windmill okay in windmill sensors will be attached that sensors like pressure sensor temperature sensor that will be sent to the processing platforms or the fog processing here uh, a separate different kinds of optimized analysis will happen streaming analytics that data will also come and that will be combined and sent to the main server or where the data analytics is happening like the regional data center okay every region has one data center right in that the things will be sent and three major outputs will be there dashboard data visualization and data lake basically you have to explain from where the data is coming in between what's happening and where it is getting ended up 
okay network analytics could also be asked you are just analyzing the network's common iot uh, challenges in iot security this is the last one which is challenges in iot security okay so what are the challenges in iot security erosion of network architecture the network architecture is getting reduced as other alternatives are coming so based on that some changes are to be made pervasive legacy systems means there is uh, in some companies what happens is the software will be very new but the mechanical hardware devices that will be very old okay see in a power utility environment it is not uncommon to have racks of old mechanical equipment okay old mechanical equipment still operating alongside modern intelligent electronic devices okay there will be modern electronic devices also there will be old devices also when they both combine the efficiency will not be that much maximum that is another uh, disadvantage in uh, all the challenge in ot security insecure operational protocols the structure and the operation the operation or the structure of the protocol that will be built before okay uh, in the private sector but then it will become a public sector so uh, when the shift happens the security protocols are not getting into consideration once something is private and it becomes public some of the private information also gets disclosed okay so that things uh, create some issues that is what is uh, the insecure operational protocols okay and data insecurity the data could also be leaked that security has also to be enhanced so these were the four important uh, challenges which you need to write an exam they ask okay and another question which is the purdue module for uh, purdue model for control hierarchy control hierarchy means if it and ot securities combine at that time there will be a hierarchy formed what is that hierarchy that is discussed here for the control purpose for the organization purpose and for the processing okay so this is the hierarchy here here totally i guess uh, five levels are there for starting from level zero processing first the process will happen after getting the uh, data and then the basic control supervisory control these are the different levels of control which you need to establish okay so these are the things you need to keep in mind if they ask about these things these are all called zones okay like enterprise zone is here and this is the safety zone and this is the scada zone operation zone dmz delimited zone okay like different zones are there for the different levels of data that you have to keep in mind okay so don't uh, go into more depth uh, regarding this you all can know like what is operations and control see operations means whatever is the process happening in the company control means what are the security policies you are applying on that just the same thing you have to write okay don't pay much um, focus on that you can write it in your own words okay and uh, another important question which is the octave and fair what is octave operational operationally critical threat asset vulnerability evaluation each of these what you can write a few sentences what it means and basically it means there is a structure defined for which the security or the processing will be more enhanced and the uh, risk will be reduced like step one you'll be having some established risk management measurement criteria you'll be having the risk manage, uh, measurement criteria based on that you'll be developing some um, solution and will be identifying the areas of concern what are the risk will be identifying analyze the risk and mitigation approach means to stop the risk or to reduce the harm of the risk will be doing something so, okay so this is what ha ha happens in octave so octave is uh, nothing but it's a multiple iterations process which will be doing fair is another one which is the uh, factor analysis of information risk it's a technical standard for risk definition form both octave and uh, fair are for risk analysis okay so here also some things happen go through it and the first application of security in the operational environment so this is not that much important basically the enterprise zone dmz operation is discussed in more depth here you can go through it it's uh, like what happens is area control basic control in different levels what are the controls happening just in uh, some more details they have explained okay next we have the deploying dedicated security appliances what are the security appliances needed that's uh, written here like dpi and idps oui all these are the different appliances needed for security okay and higher order policy convergence and network monitoring policies are nothing but the rules to be followed for security okay that's all important in this module make sure the like button subscribe channel for more just like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one